really, I got connected to solitary confinement issues for juveniles because of my interest as a lawyer. When I first got into the legislature, I started recognizing that, that children are so vulnerable in our society and in our state. And we know from the statistics nationally uh, that have been done and the best practices that are being done across our nation that, uh, that solitary confinement leads to depression, psychosis, uh, you know, increased trauma in, in these children. And so, um, you know, we are, by putting a child in, in solitary confinement, we are not preparing them to be strong and able members of our society when they leave that juvenile justice system. And of course, then that leads to, uh, to an increase of, of kids then being directed straight to the adult prison system. That kind of thinking makes it so that we aren't recognizing the fact that the, the juvenile facilities are for rehabilitation and not punishment. So that's number one. Number two, um, again, if you don't want to look at morally how we are treating our Nebraska children, then, then I guess we need to look at economically because this is not making any kind of economic sense. Uh, keeping them in is way more expensive to keep them in solitary, uh, the children in solitary. And uh, in the long run, it's doing nothing uh, to change their behavior, to change their ability to adapt and deal with things that they find that are conflicts that make them react in a certain way. It's a vicious cycle that uh, continues. It's, it's not helpful. It's not economically sound. Uh, it is not kind. It, it is not a way to deal with Nebraska's children. We have to have hope and provide hope for our children.